The new Machina 265 update from Native Instruments brings some interesting new stuff to the party. The first thing that's going on is a new thing called Ideas View. Now if I go up to my View menu here, you can see, as well as Arranger and Mixer, which I had before, I've now got an Ideas View. And what this is, is essentially a way of viewing all your groups and patterns in a way that doesn't commit you to a certain song arrangement. If I use the shortcut to go back to my arrangement, here are all my patterns in my project, and I can see the patterns if I select any of them here. So what I've now got also are these things called scenes. And if I go back to Ideas view, each of my scenes contains patterns, and you can see that these have also been grouped here using these. And what this does is it kind of gives you an overview of your whole project. So the Ideas view kind of represents or resembles the layout of the Machina Jam Controller where you can see all the patterns in your different groups at the same time. And so building scenes using Ideas view is really as easy as just sort of clicking on the patterns that you want to be part of a scene. You don't have to keep switching between groups and selecting patterns from the Pattern Manager menu. So the way this works in practice is what I'm able to do is I'm able to select any of these scenes and I can just trigger patterns from within it. And I can change the pattern I'm using. I can turn things off. It's kind of like a jamming view almost. And I can play around uh, with the patterns here. I can make edits to them in the pattern editor, of course. And I can add different patterns to my ideas sections by clicking them or deselecting them. So what this does is it kind of lets you build and experiment with different patterns and scenes without having to commit anything in the arrangement view, or the arranger view as it's now called. So previously, in order to hear the playback of a pattern, you would have had to uh, create a scene in your arrangement and assign the pattern to it. But you can now do this within the Ideas view, which saves you having to create scenes in the Arranger first and set loops up. So you essentially get this playable loop slots kind of set up here. And another nice thing that you can do is, if you see, if I switch between the scenes here, you can see each scene, you can see that each scene has a different clip enabled for it. So I'm able to quickly move between different arrangements. And again, I'm not committing anything in the Arranger here. I'm just playing around with it. And if I decide that I like a scene, what I can do is I can right click on its top panel here and I can tell Machina to append it to the arrangement. So let's say, just to make a point, if I rename this new scene, so you'll be able to see it when it goes into the arranger. So I then right click and click append to arrangement. If I go back into my arrangement, you'll see there's my new scene. And you can see it's gone in at the end there. So this is a, a really interesting way of experimenting with new arrangements and ideas. And it's, as I say, it's kind of a step on the road to Machina becoming a more fully fledged DAW. And it's not hard to see where they might be going with this kind of thing. You know, they're, they're getting more, more kind of song arrangement tools as well as tweaking and, and MIDI editing stuff down here. Another useful new feature, especially for those who are using Machina as a plugin inside other DAWs, is the ability to preserve audio and MIDI routings when loading new groups or kits from the browser. There was already, when you were browsing for groups, a plus patterns button down here. But now they've added this thing called plus routing button, which basically, when it's enabled, it will cause the routing saved in the group to be loaded into Machina. And that's kind of always been what's happened. But now they've given you an option not to do that. So when you turn this button off, what you'll find is that any custom audio and MIDI routings you've made inside your group won't be loaded. And whatever was currently loaded and, and set up inside your DAW will be retained. So what you can do is you can create your desired routings to and from your DAW, 
but also have the freedom to audition other kits without having to reset the routings every time. So if I go into the mixer, you can see that I've got custom outputs set for some of these channels to go into Cubase's mixer in this case. But with plus routing turned off, if I was to load something else, it will change the sounds, but it's retained my audio routings. So I don't have to then go back into Cubase and do all that again, or Logic or whatever you're using. If I was to turn the routing option on again and load a different group, you can see that it resets all my audio routings. So that's well worth knowing about. If you want to turn that off, then uh, you can do that and you can maintain your audio routings uh, within the plugin and uh, also within the standalone version. But it's more useful here because you're more likely here to be routing channels out separately into another DAW. One other thing worth mentioning is that you can use these new functionalities with all the Machina hardware units. So uh, you're able to switch the controller's focus between ideas and a range of views and the interactions on the hardware will change as appropriate for that hardware. So, for example, when Machina Studio is focused on the Ideas view, the Scene button will allow the triggering of scenes in the Ideas view. Uh, when you're focused on the Arranger view, the Scene button will allow the triggering of sections, which are the container scenes in the arrangement. That's also worth mentioning, actually. These things here uh, are sections, and these, by and large, work uh, the same way that, that scenes did in previous versions of the Machina software. Uh, but a section is what allows you to now reuse a scene multiple times inside an arrangement, uh, only with each one able to have a unique length. Since these sections use the same scenes, if you make edits to one section, let's say I find pattern 3 here and I want to get rid of these notes. If I go to pattern 3 here, those notes have gone as well, because that's a shared clip, so I've shared it here, or I could also make scene four a different length. So that's still using part of pattern three. That's using another version of pattern three, except it's the same because it's a shared clip. So that's the new stuff in the Machina 2.6.5 update. It's really interesting because it takes it further down the road towards being a fully fledged DAW. So there's a free update, there's some really cool new stuff in the ideas view and the ability to preserve audio and MIDI routings when you load new projects. And uh, yeah, check it out. Check it out today.